Hello my friends, what's up? Welcome to my channel. Let's talk about the books I read in January. If you're new here, my name is Elise. Welcome to my channel. I'm so glad that you chose to click on this video today. If you're not new, welcome back. It's great to see you. I'm so glad to have you here again. Before I get into sharing the books that I read in January, I would love to know your top reads of January in the comments below. Please let me know. Maybe we have some in common or maybe it'll bump some of the books I have on my TBR up. Let me know. <laughs> First, we have Barbarian Surprise by Ruby Dixon. I started rereading or re-listening to the series on audiobook last year. We are continuing with Barbarian Surprise, which is the fifth book in the Ice Planet Barbarian series. I have to say, I'm having such a good time re-listening to them. I feel like listening to them on audio is making me consume them slower, and therefore I'm picking up on more things that I didn't notice before because when I first read through these on Kindle Unlimited like two or so years ago, I just ripped through them like back to back to back to back. So now I'm picking up on more of the nuances, more of the differences between our characters and our couples and their stories. So I'm really appreciating that. I have to say, so Luke in this story, <laughs> what? He's so great. Maybe even one of my new top book boyfriends. He's so patient and understanding. And, and even when he doesn't necessarily understand what our main female character Tiffany is going through, He's just like, okay, well, then let's try this. And if it doesn't work, then let's try this. And it's like exactly what Tiffany needed. I just love how all of these main male characters are really there and about what their lady needs. And I just love a story like that. 2024, off to a good start. The next book that I completed was Need Some More Time by Nellie Wilson. I actually started this in October and then set it down. The reason it took me a little bit longer to complete is because it really hit home. This is about a main female character who is a teacher and who just came out of teaching during COVID. So there is that trigger warning for sure. That was something that was really relatable to me because if you're new to my channel, I taught English in South Korea for three years. Two of those years were during COVID and everyone has their struggles during that time period, absolutely. But it was really tough being someone that your students look up to and look to for cues about life and situation. So putting on a tough face during COVID when you're overseas, you're away from your family, you can't reach your family or you'll lose your job or <laughs> your health insurance, all of these things. It was really tough. And so this book touched on that. Our main female character touched on that and just the struggle she was going through. And it was so relatable to me. So it was really hard to just sit and read this book because I'd read like a paragraph and I'd be like, oh, Ah, I feel attacked and so I had to I had to consume it in sips um I however would not necessarily recommend this book to that many people I would say if you are a teacher I do recommend this you might feel seen and understood especially if you were a teacher during that time but if you're not a teacher you might not understand where she's coming from and she, it might seem a little whiny if you didn't experience that yourself so I don't know I did really enjoy the nature aspects of it because she is going to an outdoor camp they take their students there for a week and she kind of gets to like sit back and enjoy herself and so I love the like naturey hiking outdoors aspect of things and I loved Colin he was a really great guy I think I got a little bit of the ick because our main female character literally every single time she saw Colin every single time she would talk about how sexy he was and how attractive and how hot he was which like yeah girl but I don't need to see and hear that and read that every single time he comes on the page um so I got a little bit of the ick <laughs> but we finally got over that it was enjoyable I would say I gave this a three star I finally did it I finally started the inheritance games series by Jennifer Lynn Barnes I get it I get the hype I had such a fun time reading this book. I am currently on the third book of the series actually and I'm still really enjoying it. But this first book, just the way that you're drawn in and sucked into it is so exciting and fast paced and new and just I get why people were so hyped about it. This follows a girl Avery. I believe she's 17 and all of a sudden gets called out of class and 
she's inherited this billion dollar fortune of a philanthropist. No one knows why. There are just all of these clues. And she works with the grandsons of this philanthropist, the Hawthorne brothers, to figure out what this is about, where it's coming from, why, why, why. I love the Hawthorne brothers. I love Xander. <laughs> I love Xander so much. I mean, I love all of them. I wish we had more Nash, but I just, I love it. It's very fast paced. I feel like the description coming from a writer's perspective is very sparse. But I think that's so fascinating how little she gives us in the realm of description. But you can still see it so vividly in your mind. I think that's so fascinating. I love that. I think that I could learn something from this book in the series. Five stars, a new favorite. I am so excited to continue the series. Then we have A Court of Mist and Fury. This is a reread for me. I have been listening to this since August and let me tell you why. I got my boyfriend kind of into reading again. He knows I'm a huge reader. He wanted to read something that I absolutely loved. I thought about recommending the Throne of Glass series, but it's just so long. So I was like, okay, maybe A Court of Thorns and Roses is a good place to start. He read the first book. It took him a year. So I was like, what if we listen to the second book? So every time we were on a road trip or driving together for whatever reason we listened to a court of mist and fury like after we were done talking we have been listening to it on and off since august <laughs> together i've read this book several times but um it was another re-listen for me it was fun like getting his reaction i'm like so what did you think of that scene or what do you think is gonna happen and i would always ask him like what his theories were so it's been really fun experiencing that together i actually really like us listening to it together because i can see his reaction the next book i completed completed in January it was Misery by Stephen King. Speaking of my boyfriend, back in October we decided to buddy read this book together. He discovered that I had it so he was like I've been wanting to read that book. His dad loves this book so we were like let's read it together and I'm so glad that we did. This book if you don't know is about an author, a very famous author who has finished up this famous series of his about a character named Misery. He's celebrating and when he drives home he crashes and wakes up in a super fan's home. His like number one top fan and she is batshit crazy. She wants him to rewrite the ending of that series to where it's not done. She doesn't like how it ended and she doesn't want it to be done. It's her favorite series ever. He better write it or else. And we come to find out that his legs were like mangled in this accident. He's in all this pain. She has him addicted to pain pills, like all these things. I apologize for my chickens outside. <laughs> They're doing their thing. Um, but anyway, so that's the basis of the story. It was written so well. Like it was so intriguing the way that Stephen King explained the pain that Paul, our main character, is going through. And his fear and his confusion over what's happening and his desire to survive was so fascinating and I really love that but I normally read books I listen to them on audiobook when I'm driving to and from work and for work or I read when I'm eating like breakfast lunch dinner like in those little snippets or I read right before bed and this is not a book that you read while you're eating or right before you go to sleep. It's just not. So it took me so long to finish it because I just, it's not, what I normally read is not a good time to read this book because it's horror and it has those gruesome moments. Um, But it was so good. I'm glad I finally read it. Definitely like a four star for me. And next we have Una Out of Order by Margarita Montemore. I've been wanting to read this for a while. In fact, I think this was on my 23 books in 2023 list. So I just missed it by like a month of getting it into 2023. But that's okay. I enjoyed this. I tandem listened to it on audiobook and the narrator was excellent. This book has to do with Una who on her 19th birthday physically skips ages. So mentally she is 19 but physically she'll jump to like 48 or mentally she's 21 but she'll jump back to like 27 so on and so forth. So we follow seven years of Una kind of time jumping age skipping her experiences of living her life out of order the people she meets the people she keeps um, the adventure she goes on. It was very adventurous. It was very melancholic at times, but 
your heart just like goes out to Una. I don't want to say more. I don't want to spoil it. I'm really glad I read it. Definitely like a solid four star for me. I love Kenzie. <laughs> I loved Kenzie so much. I'm glad I finally got to this. I finally finished the ninth book in the Wings of Fire series. It's called Talents of Power. I've been reading this for a while, you guys. I tried really hard to read through some of the books that I had been in the middle of that I put in my 2024 reset. So I finally finished. I'm glad I'm done with it. This is probably my least favorite book of the series. We follow turtle who i really enjoyed in the previous book he is a side character in the previous book and i thought he was fun he really brought out a great side of peril of the main character in the eighth book but this book turtle is a watcher and that's it and he complained about not being the main character not being able to help he shouldn't do this he's too scared this this and this should happen but he couldn't do it and it was just like that the whole story and despite you know some of the sort of adventures that they go on it just didn't make up for the fact that he literally didn't do anything for himself until like the last 20 30 pages everything else he's just following and waiting in the background and observing so hard pass for me the next book i completed was the hawthorne legacy by jennifer lynn barnes this is the second book in the inheritance games series i really enjoyed this one as well it's very fast paced it keeps you on your toes you never really know what's going on or what's going to happen next jennifer lynn barnes in this series gives to the readers she'll drop a little hint and then you'll go for a little bit and another little hint and maybe the two hints don't even connect but in the end it does and i just love that she gives us that incentive to keep reading and to figure out what's going to happen throughout the whole story not just like in chunks or at the beginning and at the end i love that i love this writing style i also am listening to it on audiobook and I love the narrator's voice for Avery, for our main female character. She does okay with the female voices, but for the male voices, man, you just gotta hold on because <laughs> she did not grow up in the South because the Hawthorne brothers are supposed to have Southern accents and I don't know what they are. <laughs> so that still shows me that this book is so good because despite the narrator having a few things to improve upon it still doesn't get me out of the story i'm still so intrigued and i'm still having the best time reading these books so i think that shows a lot of jennifer lynn barnes skills <laughs> if you listen to the audiobooks take that with a grain of salt solid like 4.25 i would say i have another story time for you guys about a year ago i won a giveaway on goodreads for Breaking Badger. I just thought it was fun. I was getting into my like shifter monster romance era. Come to find out this is the fourth book in the series. Well, jokingly, I entered to win the fifth book in the series <laughs> and I won again. It's on the way. It's shipping right now. So I was like, okay, Lise, you really got to figure out what this series is about. So I found the first book on Libby called Hot and Badgered by Shelley Lawrenston. <laughs> This book was a chaotic hot mess and I had the absolute best time reading it. <laughs> I don't even know how to explain it. So we are in a world of shifters. There are, you know, humans and then the shifter communities, but each shifter community is like broken up. You know, there's the wolves, there's the tigers, there's the bears, there's the honey badgers. And this series centers around three sisters who are honey badger mix shifters let's just say their dad is a hot mess their family's a hot mess and daddy causes a lot of issues in their life there are so many adventures there are quirky characters it's found family there's a little bit of romance in it i mean just fast-paced action-packed badass female characters and it was just so weird and messy and funny and I did not expect to love it as much as I did. A very solid like 4.25 star. So January really started off strong. Um, I had some really excellent fun reads that might even make it onto the top of the top list for 2024. Who knows? Stay tuned. We'll find out. 
but I'm also currently in the middle of several other books and a lot of those books are turning out to be excellent books as well so um, we're really starting off the year strong I'm really excited I'm really happy and I can't wait to see where the rest of the year takes me all right my friends thank you so much for watching today's video I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you're doing well whenever and wherever you're watching this video I'll see you in the next one bye everyone